So recently my company has started doing more work with Python. We've been trying to integrate it into our code base and start using it for data science type stuff to create better visuals, all that sort of thing. But we've kind of run into the issue that actually deploying Python code is way more annoying than you'd think and actually managing the dependencies kind of sucks. The general thing you'll see online is just in any tutorial you'll get the make a script, run it, and all that stuff, and then just pip install into the void, and then trying to get that into production doesn't work because it doesn't have the dependencies. Then you gotta play with requirements.txt and all this crap. It just gets obnoxious. So I come from a background of JavaScript and TypeScript. I'm really familiar with NPM, Node, all that stuff. I really like it. So I was looking for something like that for Python, and I found Poetry. I've been using this for a while now and it is fantastic. What Poetry does is it's effectively just a way to manage all your dependencies and your versioning for your project in a sort of NPM type style. So I want to show you what that looks like with a quick example here. So right here I have just an empty directory and all you have to do to get this started is you have to install the Poetry CLI. There's instructions on the docs page, very simple. And then you just do Poetry new and then let's just call this um my demo so you run this and it'll create a new python package so inside of here it scaffolds it with your actual app so my app is my demo and then it scaffolds it with tests and then the big thing that you get is this pyproject.toml if you've ever used node or npm or anything like that you're probably familiar with the um what's it called package.json and inside of that, you get all your dependencies, you get all the info about your projects, you get the basic stuff. So here you can see like my name, email, where the readme is, the packages, all this kind of stuff. And if you wanna go ahead and actually install stuff, um, for this example, I'll use NumPy, so just poetry add. So you just have to do poetry add and then package name, so NumPy, we run that. Um, whoops, you gotta see the end of the directory. Um, so all you have to do is poetry add my uh, numpy, and then it will create a virtual environment for you. It manages all this stuff out of the box. You don't have to think about it. Uh, one of the more annoying things you typically have to do if you're just using pip is if you want to keep track and isolate the dependencies and versioning for just one project, you have to create the virtual environment, create the, and then uh, install the packages in there, and then save them to the requirements.txt. This makes it so that the it will just handle it for you on your machine, and all you have to do is just poetry add, and then it's into your thing. So you look here inside my uh, Pi project, it has added NumPy in here, and then if I go into my demo, um, I just have an empty init to signify it's a package. Then we just do main.py, this will be my entry point. So once you've created this main.py, um, all you have to do is just import NumPy as NP. So now I have NumPy imported. This is being run through my VNV that was set up by um, Poetry, and I can do my basic stuff. So I'll just set this up correctly. Def main, uh, friend of hello world, and then if name equals main, uh, I'll run main. So Copilot set that up, but this is how you should structure your projects. There's tons of videos about this. This if name equals main, basically all this means is just if this is if it's executing this as a package, then you run this. So we'll call our main function, put all, all our logic in here. And now if I want to actually run this, all I have to do is poetry run Python. So we tell it to run Python. You can also run tests and other programs like formatters and that kind of thing using poetry, which I'll show you in a minute here. But if we want to do this, we just do poetry run Python, and then it is my demo slash main.py. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and just show you an example of actually using NumPy in here. It's exactly as you'd expect, just a equals np.array123, and then we'll print out the array. It's not a NumPy tutorial, but as you can see, any packages that you need to install, you just install them like this. And then if you need to build this into your own library package, like maybe you're making a library or something, you can just do poetry build and it will just build it into a wheel file out here in dist. So now you have this, you can upload this to your source control, upload it to the whatever package registry or whatever you want to use. And it just works, makes it super, super easy. And then if you want to run this in production, you can just, for like a server or something, you can just do poetry run because Python's interpreted. Another thing you can set up really easily with poetry is testing. So earlier I did poetry run Python and then the program name. You can also do poetry run some package. So in this case, it's going to be PyTest. 
So with the example we have right now, there's no real point for unit testing. So let's just do our really basic method. So let's just do add a b return a plus b. It's just to illustrate how you would set up the unit test. So we have this add method, and then inside of main we want to do um, out equals add one and two, and then we want to just print at, uh, out, and then we don't need this import anymore. So we just go ahead and actually run this. Poetry run. Now we get three as you would expect. But if we actually wanted to test this method, it was something more complicated, we need to set up a unit testing solution. So Python has unit tests built in and that works well, but I found a more intuitive way to do it is to use the PyTest package. So that's what we're gonna use here. So the first thing you need to do is you need to actually install it. So we'll do poetry add PyTest. So we add PyTest, it'll update everything, install it. Uh, handles all the VNVs for you, makes it really, really easy. And now inside of this test directory, we can actually set up our tests. Add.py. So we test the add method. And to actually test this, it's really, really simple. First thing where I'm just going to do is I'm just going to do def test um, add basic. So this is just going to be the base case sort of thing. Really simple. I will just do assert add 1 plus 2 is 3. But here we need to actually import add. So I will do import add from my demo so we import the add method then we can just go down here and just make sure that it equals the right thing we just do a simple assert and the way you have to run this is just poetry run pytest so instead of running poetry run python we do poetry run pytest and then we just pass in the directory and we'll just do tests so here it just passed one test because we named it correctly. We had test underscore add, which means that it'll look for this file and then it'll do test underscore add basic. So it looks at this as a test method. And then we just have a simple assert in here, make sure it's correct. We can do an edge case. So we'll do def test add negative. So here we can just do assert. Yep. One plus negative two should be negative one. Whoops. Forgot to add colon. So we just do that, we can once again run all of our tests, and we have two tests pass, everything's good in here, and then if we wanted to add a breaking test, we do negative 20, run it again, and just like that, we have a really, really simple unit testing solution and fully scaffolded project ready to go. And this can scale up to more modules, more packages, and you can add different things inside of this my demo, more folders sub packages, all that stuff. And you can manage all of your dependencies through this poetry, um, through poetry, and they'll all be saved inside this pyproject.toml. So that then if you are working on a team, for example, you can just go ahead and say, um, you just get download the project, clone it from Git, and you can just do poetry install. If you do poetry install, it'll update all your dependencies. Here, they're already installed into the VNV, so nothing to install, but if someone else didn't have them, they'd get everything they need. So yeah, that's basically poetry. It's a really great package manager, and it's a really great way to actually manage your Python projects. Um, Python works great as just a script, but as soon as you need to actually take it into a more serious structure that goes into production, this is a great way to do it. Uh, there are ways to set this up as like a mono repo or that kind of thing, but I wouldn't really recommend it because it's kind of a pain to set up. But for this sort of use case for creating maybe an AI integration for your application, which is what we're doing, it works fantastic. Scales for teams, all great stuff. So yeah, that's about it.